Hey guys, this is Comics Boy here with another video. So today I was lucky enough to pick up a few books. Not that much, but let's get into it. Okay, first one I got is Infinity Inc. number 37. Great <coughs> cover with Northwind on it. It's the origin and it's post crisis Infinity Inc., but I'm trying to get the whole run. Uh, next one is Infinity Inc. number 45 with the new Teen Titans. In it, so that's pretty cool. It's from the late 80s, I think. So, the next one is a pre crisis thing, it's just amazing heroes. It's basically the the Newsweek <laughs> magazine of like for comics back in the 80s. You know, it, it this has Infinity Ink, but this is pre crisis, so it does like a whole bunch of all star squadron biographies and like what their first appearance was it's just a good resource for information I think it was only a dollar so I decided I should get it uh, the next one is Justice League of America number 220 a Justice Society crossover with them their last one before the big five-parter and now that's a big five-parter but this is like their second to last one of their few last <laughs> Meetups and like the origin of Black Canary. So I was happy to get this for six dollars. Uh, the next book is Secret Origins number 26 with Black Lightning and Miss America. I really got it for Black Lightning because I'm, I'm kind of getting into him, but I don't know much about him, so I want to read his origin and I saw it for a dollar. But you know, I really only collect JSA Secret Origins, but I saw it. I'm like, I, I want to get into him. So the next book is Secret Origins number nine. With The Flash and Star Spangled Kid X'd out, Skyman. So, in the 40s and stuff, he was S S Star Spangled Kid. In the 80s, he changed to Skyman. And then his sidekick, Stripesy. Uh, I, yeah, I got it for both of them, because they're both really part of the Justice Society, or at least All-Star Squadron. And I, I love both their origins. Uh, especially Flash's, because it has a, a great reprinted picture of... Flash Comics number one in it. Here, I'll show you. Let me find it real quick. Yeah, it's it's right here. Right there. He's he's racing at the bullet and the guy's shooting at him. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Really happy to get this. Now the next book is uh, I didn't really need it, but my uncle said it was a really good story. So I bought it. See your origins annual number one with the Doom Patrol, both of them, like the old one and the new one. So I haven't read it yet, and I mean, I, I guess <laughs> I guess it could be pretty cool. I don't know much about the Doom Patrol, but he said they were really good, and the origin was really good too. So I got that, and the next book is Secret Origins number eighteen with Alan Scott, Golden Age Green Lantern, and the Creeper, Jack Ryder. R really good. Really happy to get this with for Green Lantern, of course, but Creeper's cool too. <laughs> hey, I, I I don't I don't hate any DC character. I just love Earth Two ones more. <laughs> okay, and the last book I got is Secret Origins number twenty five with the Legion of Superheroes and the Atom. Now here's my thing. You see the Atom, right? And and you see Hawkman. Obviously they're from the JSA, and this takes place. After Crisis, so even though Batman of Earth 2 was dead at that point, after Crisis, he was completely erased from continuity and everyone forgot him. Now, explain to me this. Who's that? Hmm? That is his shadow. <laughs> Roy Thomas, man, Roy Thomas. Woohoo! I love that. I, I I noticed that when I got it. I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. It was just like a little. It's like a comic book Easter egg, you know. There's Batman. But it was it was really cool though. Happy to get it. Adam's origin was really cool. And I don't know why Hawkman was on the cover too. I guess he was just there to be there. And it's got Legion of Superheroes also, which was really confusing after Crisis. But that is all I have for this video. Hope you enjoy. See you later.